everyone, welcome to another story time at the Cambridge Library. We're getting ready to open for you next week, but you'll have to come and visit and collect some books and go away again, but to go online for stories. So let's have some, get ready for our stories right now by touching your ears. Can you switch them on just like this? Give them a wiggle, give them a giggle, touch them with your shoulders and push your shoulders right down. Touch them with your shoulders and this time, can you do great big circles going forwards? Because this is very good for waking up your brain. But we've got to keep balance, so let's go backwards as well. Move your shoulders in great big giant circles. Well done. We'll make it a bit tricky, we'll do some counting at the same time. Multitasking, are you ready? I think we'll count to this many today. 10. Are you ready? 10 big circles going forwards and then we'll count backwards. Are you ready? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And roll your shoulders as we count backwards. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Well done. Give yourselves a shake. I think we might be ready to find out what our stories are going to be about today. Do you have a special animal in your house that can go woof or mm, or Maybe you've got a dog in your house. I've got some special dog stories today. And I've got another friend to help me with a story. This little friend. You might have seen this stories about this little friend. His name's Spot. He's yellow and he's brown. We can sing a special song about Spot. And it goes like this. I have a little yellow and brown dog. Ruff, ruff. I have a little yellow and brown dog. Ruff, ruff. I have a little dog. I have a little dog. I have a little dog. <gasps> yellow and brown spot. Dog. Ruff, ruff. Oh, he always comes to meet me when I call. Here, boy. <gasps> he always comes to meet me when I call. Here, boy. He always comes to meet me, he always comes to greet me, he always comes to meet me when I call, here boy. He jumps up, up high and gives me a lick. He jumps up always high and gives me a great big lick. Oh, he jumps up high to give me, he jumps up high to give me, he jumps up high to give me a big lick. Oh, I feed him crunchy dog food every day. Crunch, crunch. I feed him crunchy dog food every day. Crunch, crunch. I feed him crunchy dog food. I feed him crunchy dog food. I feed him crunchy dog food every day. And we give him a special pat and say, thank you, Spot, for helping us with our song. We can put him down over here, sitting next to Dog Bear, and maybe we can do a special rhyme as well. We might have 10 dogs this time. Can you show me 10 dogs? We've got 10 little dogs went out one day to dig in the dirt. Oh, play, play, play. Five were spotted and five were not. <gasps> and at dinner time, mm, they ate a lot. Can you do that with me as well? Can you show me 10 little dogs? Ten little dogs went out one day to dig in the dirt and play, play, play. Five were spotted and five were not. And at dinner time, they ate a lot. There's lots to do when you have a dog. Lots of looking after. Lots of clever things they can do. And lots of things that they can play with you. I found a very special book. Hiding behind my red board. And it's about... A black and white dog. My dog Laugh. Rachel Isadora wrote this book. In fact, there's lots and lots of dogs in this story. And this 
one. She did the pictures too. Nancy Paulson is the publisher for this one. And it starts off like this. I meet my dog. This is Olivia. This is River. And this is Paco, Munchy, Daisy and Josie. Can you say hello dogs? My dog looks like me. He's got a really nice smile. Nice eyes. Nice graceful feet. My dog dances. My dog's got nice posture. Stands up nice and tall. Nice red hair. My dogs look like each other. They are sisters. My dog is as big as me. And mine's so small. My dog and cat are the same size. Now, getting to know my dog. Oh, my dog loves belly rubs. Does your dog? And mine likes to watch TV with me. My dog likes to lick. Mine does too. Oh, on my feet, it tickles. My dog is very sad when I leave. He cries. My dog follows me everywhere even when I have to go to the bathroom. And my dog, oh, farts a lot. But my dog gets lots of checkups like me. Oh, it's okay, Charlie. The vet's very friendly. And my dog likes to cuddle. Sometimes my dog sleeps in my bed. And sometimes I sleep in his. My dog likes to sleep a lot. And my dog dreams. Do you have dreams at night too? Well now I train my dog. Here are some commands. Sit. Stay. Lie down. Are you lying down? Nearly. <gasps> Leave it. No jumping. That's a very good trick to learn. And good doggy. My dog tries really hard, but he sometimes makes mistakes. Oh, had an accident on the rug. <gasps> now, oh, this is very special when you're a new puppy. A special pad to go away on. Uh-oh, naughty dog, <gasps> nibbled on the slipper. Uh-oh, I'm in trouble. I had a dog that did that and put the toilet paper all over the backyard. <gasps> this is what dogs need to chew on, special chew toy. Sometimes my dog wants my dinner. Uh-uh, no begging, Bailey. The food I eat can make you sick. This is your dinner. <gasps> Dogs don't drink from the toilet. This is where you drink from. You've got a special bowl of your very own. And I drink from a glass. Let's see what's on the next page. Well, going out with my dog. My dog wears a collar a name tag and a leash. My dog's got a red harness. And my dog, what colour is his leash? Can you tell me? <gasps> Blue, that's right. Sometimes my dog wears a coat and it's really, really cold. A sweater, a raincoat, boots. <gasps> In the car, well, we all wear seat belts. Let's go, Carlos. pages. I take my dog outside when he has to do a wee. Oh, good boy, Rocco. And
And when my dog poops, I clean up and put it in the special rubbish bin. My dog loves going to the park. And my dog has lots of friends. And they say hello, they go and have these big sniffs of each other. My dog eats worms. Ew, do you eat worms? My dog takes, chases squirrels, but he never catches any. And my dog howls at ha fire engines. <gasps> my dog barks at skateboarders. My dog plays. My dog plays with her friends. My dog plays with me. And my dog can catch anything. My dog likes to do all the things I like to do. Likes to paint, and we dance. We even dress up. We dig, and then we sit and watch the waves. <gasps> My dog snuggles. I love my dog. My dog makes me feel better when I'm sick. And my dog loves me even when I strike out. My dog celebrates my birthday. Happy birthday. My dog sings. Best of all, my dog waits for me when I come home, helps me with my homework, is always happy to see me. Mine too. My dog thinks I'm funny. And my dog laughs. Does your dog laugh? Maybe you have a dog at home. Maybe you know a dog. Next time you see one, see if you can see if it laughs. Let's do another rhyme about another dog. And this one's called Rag. You'll have to help me with the actions. He's got ears that flip flop. Can you make your hands go flip flop? He's got a tail that waggles. Can you waggle your tail? You might want to stand up and do that. And then he zigzags, zigzags. And if you're standing up, you can zigzag across the room as well. It goes like this. I have a dog and his name, name is Rags. He eats so much that his tummy sags. His ears flip flop and his tail wig wags. And when he walks, he goes zigzag, zigzag. Flip flop, wig wag, zigzag, zigzag. My dog rags. He loves to play. He rolls around in the mud all day. I whistle, but he won't obey. He always runs the other way. Maybe you don't have a rags. Maybe you've got a grey dog, a poodle. Can you put your hand up like this? We're going to make a little poodle. I have a little poodle, his coat is silver grey. And one day I thought I'd bathe him to wash the dirt away. I washed my little poodle and then dried him with a towel. My poodle seemed to like my bath. He didn't even growl. Can we give him another wash? On another day, let's try your other hand. Are you ready? I have a little poodle, his coat is silver grey. And one day I thought I'd bathe him to wash the dirt away. I washed my little poodle and then dried him with a towel. My poodle seemed to like my bath. He didn't even growl. I think it's time for another story. Let me have a look and see what I can find behind my red board. dog knows words. Well, our first dog, Peter Singh, let's find out what the words are. This one's written by Peter Goldthorpe and illustrated by Lucy Goldthorpe. And beautiful end papers as well. And let's find out when we turn the page. Lockean is the publisher for this one. Do you know what the first word is? Stay. And then come. You 
practice those words with your dog? He knows. Lie down. He even knows. Roll over. Stop. Come back now. Oh, he knows. But he doesn't always obey. Bad dog. But he does know, jump up, <gasps> get down. He's supposed to be on the bed. Oops. Well, he actually does get to know the words when we spell them out. W-A-L-K. Do you know what that spells out? Walk. He even loves the word C A R. <gasps> Car. And one more. S W I M. Do you know what that spells? Swim. Do you like to take your dog down to the beach? <gasps> they do like to splash in the water. If we say smile, he smiles. And if we say Sing. Oh, 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 he does. He even knows. And when we say, time for bed, he puts himself to bed. Good night, you clever dog. Is your dog clever like that? That's the end of that story. We've got a special song that we can sing about having a dog. A dog that's gone missing. Maybe you know this one. Maybe you could join in. We think we'll sing it two times. Are you ready? Where, oh, where has my little dog gone? Oh, where, oh, where can he be? With his tail cut short and his ears are long. Oh, where, oh, where can he be? Now, let's see. Ah, oh, our puppy is sitting here. Maybe if we can... <gasps> where, oh, where has my little dog gone? Oh, where, oh, where can he be? With his tail cut short and his ears are long. Oh, where, oh, where can he be? Looking, looking, looking. <gasps> looking with my fingers. Ta-da! Now let's see, maybe we can call him, if he goes missing, let's see if we can practice calling your puppy. Can you flap your hands like this? Can you whistle? <whistles> now, we better give him a treat when he comes back. So can you hold your hands out? And then we'll do something special, we'll brush his fur. Okay, are you ready? Can you do that with me? Call the puppy. <whistles> you try that. Okay, here we go, we've got to give him some milk. Oh, yes. And then we then brush his fur. Maybe we can comb dog bear fur, just like this. Are you ready? Call the puppy. <whistles> give him a bone. Oh, yum. And then we better give him a cuddle and take him home. Should we take dog bear home? I think Dog Bear would like to meet one more puppy in a story. Now this is a very clever dog and he does lots of amazing things. Things you don't think dogs can do, but he does. He's a special dog. He's a pug. And this story is called Pugs Don't Wear Pajamas. And Michelle Worthington wrote this one. And Cecilia Johansson wrote, the, did the pictures. Let's find out who published this one. Oh, New Frontier Publishing. Let's find out all about this particular pug. Now, this is Tom. He was really looking forward to visiting with his aunt, Roz. His aunt had a new friend for him to play with. And her name was Ellie. So Tom is packing up all his things ready to go for a visit. 
When he got there, he couldn't believe his eyes. <gasps> oh, that's Ellie. Hmm. Well, at bedtime, Aunt Roz read Tom a story. Cats don't wear pyjamas, snorted Tom. He is wearing pyjamas in bed. Well, Ellie does, smiled Aunt Roz. The next day, they went to the beach. Oh, pugs don't wear hats. Ellie does, Aunt Roz replied. At lunchtime, Tom sat opposite Ellie. Pigs, pugs don't eat at cafes, Tom grumbled, shaking his head. <gasps> Ellie does, Aunt Roz helped Ellie with her straw. Have you ever seen a dog use a straw? A very clever dog. Everywhere that Tom and his aunt went, Ellie went too. They went riding in the park. They even tried out their new skateboards. And they went down the slide and climbed a tree. Very clever dog. Ellie made friends everywhere she went. But Tom, uh-uh, he didn't. Everybody made a fuss of Ellie. And Tom stayed very quiet. One afternoon when Tom meant, was meant to be playing with Ellie, uh-oh, he knocked open the latch on the gate. Uh-oh, who went out the gate? Oh, where's Ellie going? When Roz and Ellie called her for afternoon tea, uh-oh, Ellie didn't come. Mm -mm. She wasn't in the circus tent. She wasn't behind the shed. She wasn't underneath the chair. Tom and Roz looked for Ellie at the beach, at the cafe, and even at the park. No sign of Ellie anywhere. Aunt Ross was worried and Tom felt really terrible.
down and visit. We're going to be open again on Monday just for quick visits in and out but you can choose your own books. You can still ask us to choose some books for you and come to the library, knock on the door and collect them. See you next time.